Well, for many students, summer vacation is over. Across the area, students headed back to class this morning. Eyewitness News at Universal Alcorn Charter School in Grays Ferry this morning. Alcorn was uh, one of hundreds of schools across the region welcoming students back to class. Eyewitness News reporter Wakisha Bailey was there for the excitement. Good morning. How are you? Hello. And who are you? Malia. 11 year old Malia surprised and overwhelmed. Malia was a great sport, and so was her six year old sister, Chloe. Charlene Davis invited Eyewitness News into their home to surprise her daughters. It will be um, exciting, and it will kind of get them going for the first day of school. But we were surprised with Chloe's dance moves. Oh, whoa, there's a split. But the party didn't stop there. The Davis's family was headed to Dunbar Elementary School, where the Philadelphia School District rolled out the red carpet. And of course, leading the first grade class inside the building, Chloe. The festivities were also part of the district's ring the bell ceremony, where the new superintendent, along with the mayor, welcomed back students and staff. We're going to also be really focused on creating life changing opportunities for all of our children and their families. It's really nice to see our kids smiling and happy. Like Malia, who is now a sixth grader. To like learn, but also have fun. Like if I don't focus on school, what am I going to get in life? Well said. And from Eyewitness News and the Davis family to all the kiddos, have a great year. With Keisha Bailey, CBS3 Eyewitness News. What a great morning for them. And for many schools,